Mm, let's go. And that's when we'll just start to clean up and work. We're going to tidy down. You can see it all coming off now. Absolutely icky. I see. Bear into mind as well, this caliper has seen over a hundred thousand miles. It's not been rebuilt yet. Well, I got it at 29,000 miles. And in my time, I've never had this caliper, this particular one. The piston's rebuilt on it. I had the front one's done, but yeah, not this one. It's true, good build quality. I mean, that piston's nice looking. This one's a little bit rusted. But they're not bad. I see much, much worse. Right, got most of that clean. Good thing to do now is uh, you start off with the middle one, so best to get the middle one. See how that is. Looks on the middle one. There's no real need to pump it out any further because it's already see where it is and how it is. And I'm not even going to take a bit of emery cloth to that, there's just no need, that is fine. This middle one. It's just coming up beautifully. Well, these can be a nightmare to get back in. Unless you've got a bit of strength dexterity. Have your tool kit. Remember, right, there's a way to do it on each one. There we go. And you can just lever it with the tool kit and get it in. I just believe it's that one. There we go. Push down, and in she goes. Let's move it a little bit more, get yeah, looking like that. You can use that tool I had on the other one. I don't know how I would use it on this one yet, I've not a chance to figure that out, so. Let me get to the bottom one. Let's get down here. Underneath. Pump these two out a little bit so we can give them ones a little look at and clean. Probably want to cover your wheel if you care about your rear wheel. With mine being covered a lot. Well, I've covered a lot of miles, and they're working fine, they probably could do a paint job, but I think all the years of collected dirt and grease on them, <coughs> done some form of protection, so they're not too bad. You get a bit of a rag, get a bit of a clean down. That just because something looks clean, it's exactly work. It's not always the case. Get all the old grease off. So if I don't have the camera and I won't try to do this on the cord, then I've just done a lot, a lot quicker. But things I do for you lot. We'll say a little while I'm out. Big thank you to anyone and everyone that subscribes.
I just built this channel from scratch and there's many just videos to record so I could check back, make sure I've done the work properly and just like an archive. So if I need to come back on a job or I need to do another job again then I can just look back on my videos and see you know, how I did it. So I'm always trying to look for little tricks and little ways or methods to beat the engineers and the designers. Where yeah, they don't want us to do the jobs, but I find a way where I can do the job. Me used to say after owning a Honda for a long time, there's a lot of Honda shops that don't like me. Because I come up when I just come up to them ask for certain parts or certain bits and they're trying to get me in for work and and saying, oh, you know, you need this tool, you need that special tool, you need this plug-in, you need that plug-in. I'm like, nope, no, I don't. Oh, my God, I'll just do it myself. I don't like it. <sighs> Same with some of the technicians. I've told some of the technicians about jobs and certain things on these bikes that even they didn't fucking know about, so... Case in point, not all technicians in the shops know exactly what they're doing. And some of them back street marks are actually honest people. They can't get the big brands, they, the, they can't afford to get the big names, but they just love working on things and fixing bikes and fixing cars. I'm good at it, so they're actually sometimes the ones that know a bit more than the techs do. I'll get some cotton buds or stick some cotton buds in there. It's a good thing to get them out. And next up, I'll clean them down. I'm gonna put them rag. This is one thing why I can watch back as well and see where I put stuff. So all people that work on bikes or use tools know there's some kind of demon that follows every tool around that moves it the minute you put it down. <laughs> so we don't we don't put a tool we know exactly where we put these tools down. We know exactly what's going on. That little gremlin. That's one of the reasons I do videos as well. So I'm able to catch that little tool gremlin in the act. It's proof for all people working on bikes, all people that use tools, that it does happen. There is such a, t such a demon and such a gremlin. It certainly is, it can be nightmare to get to, but we just work at it and get them. Oops, wrong stuff. Oh, Halfords, why did you... They look identical. They look identical. Back a month or two ago, they were all the same. Well, not no, they all looked a little bit different, so you couldn't get it wrong. The amount of times I've been doing that just lately, because they all look identical. Grease out there. Let's see the old copper grease. Right, pump these out. Get the pistons clean. Oh. I oh, notice as well the rear does work on the middle one as well. That's the front. The middle pumps all three, the front pumps one. Let's try and do it so. This is the best trick as well to get the pistons out so you don't do them all at once. Let's see, couple come out there. Now, they all ain't gonna come out evenly. They never ever do. Very rarely. Unless the thing's working in perfect operation. Even then, I've very rarely come out all the same pace. Um, it's good this because I can clean this one up. And then what you can do is again, using some pieces like this, 
lodge it in there, run around, pump it again, and get this other one out. Same again once that one gets too far. Usual what I do is well, that. If they'll get to a certain point, stop, and even then I can just roger that in there. And it stops it all, and that'll use me to pump that one out bit by bit. Well, same again, I want to get to the middle one. Lodge one there, lodge one there, and then pump, and the rear one will come out. And sometimes when you push one back in, the others will come out as well. I'm just trying to get on this one at the minute. So push the other two back in. <sighs> These top two ones, obviously they're slightly bigger pistons, I believe. So it's easier to get them back in. So that should be enough for now. There we go. Just so I can get to this. You can see there's a little bit around the edge. I think we can take that off to be fair. This is a very nice DVD 40. Yes, you don't really use brake clean on these parts, but if you use it like this, you're absolutely okay. But first and foremost, Use your toothy brush to get the worst of it off. You'll find that you might actually get the worst of it off with just a toothbrush sometimes. Dip some emery in there, just lightly go at it with that, very lightly. And just give it a nice clean up. Uh, this one's not too bad, it's a little bit of pitting. A little bit of pitting, but it's not too bad, this one. You can see it all underneath, there's a way to spin these around, but it ain't too pretty. Best way. Hold a bit of memory. Get under it. You'll get the worst of it. Apply a bit of burnt cleaner. Or do we do 40? Whatever you poison, just to loosen it up a bit. This will get the bottom of the piston. All gone. Clean up, that's an easy too bad. I've seen much worse. This is pitting, but not leaking yet. The seals are all intact, so he's a good for new. As you can see, it looks much better. better that's two of them done just the third left now I need to push this one back in you see it just goes back in these ones aren't too bad last one saying these are in good order because they don't take much pressure that one will because that's fed all the way back through a combi brute system this one <sighs> There we go. Just to lock the bastards. Yeah. Grab whatever you can out of the toolkit. 
see if the two screwdrivers so I can use just like that. And just swap that in like that. Anything you can get, block them off, piece of wood, whatever. Just do the job, that's what I normally do. See, they're coming out a bit more evenly now, just to help clean it up. They, the more, it's a good way to tell how well these pistons are, depending on how well they come out. The more balanced they are, the better. But still, very rarely they've never come out evenly. Same again now, because we're attacking that one. stand at the minute. This one this one takes a lot of force but now you see everyone sees it doesn't take too much it's not as bad but it will be a lot stiffer because of naturally the path it's gonna take. <coughs> now this one's ready to be accessed. Yeah, just a good rough clean up. Too bad condition. For 100,000 mile brake pistons, I think they're pretty good condition. They're not too bad for what they are. I mean, looking at it, it didn't, wasn't really in need of a service to be fair, but it's always good to do it now rather than and to do it when it's seized or it's too late. See again, it's come up lovely this one. Go check its underbelly. A little bit there, same again. Use some of that. Fit in there. Get it under. There we go. Just a quick few goes on that, I'll get the bottom. A lot more cleaner down below now, a lot more shiny. Do the same to the top if you want, just to get rid of the worst of it. Got 
So you ain't got to worry about the insides of the pistons. It, and it's no really beneficial use there. So. so now that I've done that, it should go with a bit more ease now. As it does, I can do this by hand. And I had a finger thwimp. Let's get the middle one out. Yeah, man. Dry it up for you now, middle. <laughs> Thank God I'm looking at it at work today for the like Gary Stores and I'm like I'm on the ground today. <laughs> <laughs> the job had to be done today. Oh it's wicked, it's really wet there. Just glad it, come, it dried out. It couldn't do the on Thursday. Oh, thank God. I wonder what the smell was. It's only. It's yeah. Oh, Neighbours. I need that to still be in a little bit. I'm just going to have to take the bottom end of that pistol. <laughs> if I'm able to win. And then I'm going to pump on that. Please never get carried away pumping. If you do it too much, you'll pop these out, and then yeah, you gotta do a rebuild. It was just about I just wanted to examine on this. So it need any attention? So it's looking all right. Yeah, that one's looking fine down below. Yeah, we'll give it some in. No, give it some loving anyway. just the interior there it needs a looking at the rest is fine you should force them in now if you are being a bit too strenuous I'd say just get your leverage of your friend here <coughs> the middle one's the worst to get back in but you can do it <coughs> just keep filling that wave of Believe in it. <coughs> I'll try and get them back in as far as you can. <coughs> nope. If you're replacing the pads, it's hardly bothered to get them as far back as you can, but you still want a little bit of a lip like that. So the more about you have them, the easier it is to put back in place. Part <sighs> mm. three. All this. 